Hi, I've been hearing a lot of questions about how to use the fancy fonts with all the flourishy glyphs in the Cricut Design Space. And today I'm going to show you how to do that with a beautiful font called Cantoni Pro from Debbie Simentelli. The key to this is that Debbie's fonts are coded to work with the Windows character map. So the first thing we need to do is open the Windows character map. It's built into Windows. So I'm going to click on my Windows button and I'm going to type in the search bar. I'm just going to start C-H-A-R and character map will pop up to the top and I'm going to click on that to open it. I've also put this in my taskbar because I use it so often. Now I've already selected Cantoni Pro but you can go through this uh, pull down to, to select the font you want or type in the name to get to the font you're interested in. Now we see the the regular character set here but we're looking for the for the flourishes. We're looking for the bang, for the beautiful stuff, so the extras. So I'm going to make sure that this advanced view button is, is selected so that I have these other options. And I want to make sure that character set is on Unicode and that group by is on Unicode subrange. And then when this box pop, pops up, I'm going to go all the way down to private use characters. And I click that and when I do, you're going to see this box populate with just all the beautiful characters and flourishes and ornaments and things that come with this Cantoni Pro font that if you're a font lover you already have a crush on this font for sure. It's the new modern calligraphy style. It's just luscious. So anyway, these are very hard to see but when you click on a character you do get a little bit bigger view so that helps some. So what we want to do is we want to get our characters in this box and let's say I want to write my name so I'm going to pick a fancy K to start with. I'm going to select that, get a plain A for the middle, and then go down here to the Y's, and let's get a Y with a with a fancy end on it. I'm going to click select after each one of these, and then let's go look for some of the, er the ornaments and things. Let's see, what is this? That's kind of cool. Let's get a, an ornament and uh, oh, there's a nice heart that I might want to use so I'll select that too. Putting all the things I want to copy down in this box and then I'm going to select copy. Alright now that stuff is in the computer's memory on its clipboard ready for us to use. So I'm going to go to back to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click on add text and I get a text box and I'm going to copy into that so I'm going to go control V and you're going to see some you know alien text go in there that doesn't look like it means anything but we're not done yet so hang in there so I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to click this down triangle and I'm going to wait for a chance to type in my font name this is slow working with text on design space but that wasn't too bad so I'm going to type my letters very slowly because if I type them fast I find that it skips them and then I get the wrong ones. Okay so I type C-A-N-T very slow and I got C Cantoni Pro so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna wait patiently for my gibberish to turn to beautiful Cantoni Pro characters. Now how cool is that? So of course now I can ungroup these, resize them, reposition them, whatever I want to do. But this allows me to get to all those goodies in Cantoni Pro. Now again this only works with certain fonts that are fully coded to work with the Windows character map. And that includes all the fonts from Debbie Simentelli, all the fonts from Laura Worthington, and some of the fonts from Yellow Design Studio. And if you want to practice with this, there's a font at Defont called Just Upright, G-I-S-T Upright, that you can download and practice before you're ready to, to buy an expensive font. Uh, the font Samantha from Laura Worthington is uh, very popular right now, and uh, you can come to my website and see what's on sale and know which ones that are coded and aren't coded. But this is how you use them with Cricut Design Space to make some beautiful word art with all the flourishes that you see out there. So I hope this is helpful to you, and thanks so much for watching.